guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing very very well happy new year firstly sorry for the delay in uploading i've been pretty busy and thought i would take the time to reflect a bit on the year that has passed and also my goals and resolutions for the new year of course new year's resolutions can be quite cliche but there is a crucial element in which we do aspire for new things in the coming year and it is an opportunity for renewal. I'm going to be talking about the lessons that I learned in 2020. So firstly, 2020, like probably everyone watching, taught me how to deal with change, how to normalise change. So I started 2020 actually moving houses during my second year of uni. I decided I wanted to change up the game. Dealing with that change was quite hectic at some point. Integrate into a new environment, say goodbye to old flatmates, make new friends with my new flatmates. And, and then of course, come March, we had the first lockdown in the UK. I guess the aftermath of coming out of that lockdown was there just wasn't any clear direction. For me anyway, I wasn't sure where I was going to be in September. I was supposed to be going to Japan for my year abroad, but I suddenly realized that was not gonna be possible in light of the restrictions, the travel restrictions. And so for a few months, I felt really lost and really confused. And I was very, very stressed because I was kind of in between deciding whether to go back to Bristol and do my final year of law or stay on my year abroad, but at a distance. At one point in September, I kind of just decided I was going to be an au pair and I was going to move to France. And so that change, that huge compromise and, you know, things not going at all as planned. Although I'm a spontaneous person, that was still quite a stressful experience. And the circumstances all changed but I think I dealt with it well and I'm of course very very happy with my au pair family and extremely grateful for my circumstances because I'm aware that a lot of people have actually had their years abroad completely cancelled. Secondly in 2020 I found new hobbies. I've always been the kind of person not too into sports but like the idea of the a lot of Chloe Ting which um during the time, I disliked, but looking back, it did me the world of good. During the first lockdown, I started running a lot. I was addicted and still am addicted to Strava. I found such a comfort in running, um, especially from what used to be something I hated doing. And now I embrace, I embrace going for runs. I feel a lot lighter. If I have a problem that's on my mind and I can't think straight, I will just feel like I need to go for a run. I think it's the actual ability to be to be free and to move and to explore and to be in nature just revitalizes me and gives me a new perspective on things. And that is so important at a time where things are just completely abnormal. And I, I'm so proud that I've persevered in, in that sense. Thirdly, looking forward to things. At times when everything was bleak, everything was dull, there was something in the back of my mind that told me, listen, things are gonna be okay, things are gonna get better. And that forward focus inspired me to push on and to finish my exams and to finish that run and to stop complaining and stop taking life from my individual perspective and realize that people are affected in such deeper ways and to realize how privileged I am in a way that humbled me but also taught me the significance of perspective and this brings me right on to my next point which is being mindful in the way that you talk to yourself we all have that mental chatter that inner narrative that goes on inside our heads yeah there were times when I just couldn't deal with that mental chatter and it really got to me and so either through journaling, through talking with, with friends, through running, through sport, through creative outlets, through reading, meditation, I managed to quieten that voice. I just feel so peaceful. 
I found such a safe space in meditating and I'm really trying to implement it into my daily routine, whether that's as soon as I wake up in the morning or when I go to bed. And it doesn't mean that you have to be spiritual, have to believe in a power or I don't know. I think there's such a kind of stigma around spirituality and meditation now that people are almost put off. But actually, if you take meditation to its core, it really just is about breathing and feeling connected to your breath, which a lot of people take for granted. But actually, if you think about it, your breath is what connects you to the moment. And so if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling a bit lost or anxious, that is the number one way to feel instantly better and to remind yourself that you're fine, you're in control, you're breathing. Being mindful of your circumstances, being mindful of the way you're treating yourself and the way you're talking to yourself through hardship, through happiness is very important. I've also learned the power of a routine. Now, I am someone who is normally very lazy. So having a routine where I'm forced to wake up at 7.30 every day and have to be somewhere at 5 p.m., I really make the most out of those nine hours and it has done me the world of good. I have been able to start a YouTube channel, to read, to run, to improve my French, to make new friends, to explore the city I'm in. And I just think to myself, like, there are so many hours in the day. Honestly, being out and about in the morning is, it just feels really good. So I've completed my first resolution already on day one, because I finished the book. This one is going to be a bit cringe, but um, yeah, I did really learn the value of my friendships and how much I probably take for granted my friends and yeah i'm sorry <laughs> so many memories were made and i honestly had such a beautiful time during the summer especially after spending a whole four months in lockdown having two three months where i just kind of felt normal again and i guess there was a, a sense of togetherness that came out of of the lockdowns those small moments that you share with your friends we now appreciate them even more and that is so important because the people in your life they are special and it's so important to hold them dear um and to to tell them that this has been a slightly different video i hope you guys enjoyed it do let me know in the comments if you have any ideas as to videos i can film or topics of interest i hope you have a lovely rest of your day and i will see you very very soon bye guys if there's something you want to do, the most genuine piece of advice I could give you is just to go and do it because what's holding you back right now is probably the fear. Fear is dealt with with bravery. Bravery is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. And that's what I did last Sunday. I just uploaded the video, I posted it on my social media and now here we are. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling inspired, I'm feeling motivated and that's all that matters. You just do it.